Cancers, I love you guys, Cancers, but I just did an entire reading for you, and like the first half was completely gone. I don't even know what happened. So I have to kind of, I've got your reading here very carefully. I haven't touched anything. And I actually kept it pretty neat, actually, um, which is good. But um, yeah, I, I, for some reason something happened to like the whole first half. So I kind of have to do this all over again. It doesn't happen very often, but I hate it when it does. <laughs> So Cancers, I'm sorry, this is your daily love update. I can tell you this, it is so good. It's really good. Um, I just, I'm, oh, I'm so mad that I have to do it over again. Um, but it's that good, so I want you to see it. I'm not going to trash it. Um, Cancers, I love you guys. Um, this reading is not going to resonate with all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't. I do hope it does resonate with you, though, because it is good. It's very good. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. All of your kindness. You guys are just like a big ball of kindness, man. <laughs> I love you, Cancer. I do. I freaking love you guys so, so much. Um, thank you so much for being my peeps, man. And uh, sorry I had to restart. It really upset. Mm, I hate it when that happens. But we're going to do it again. I didn't touch anything. Um, so anyway, Cancers, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but you want to hear this message because it is really good. First of all, your person is feeling bound, stuck in a situation, feeling very weak, um, kind of just like they, like they have their hands tied, okay? This is how they feel, all right? And they want to free themselves, liberate themselves, um, be unburdened from all of this, okay? Now, um, first card out your person wants to come forward towards you. I, I can't say that enough. <laughs> Everybody's been saying it. I've been saying it. This person really does want to come forward towards you, okay? Um, you're standing still, but they want this beautiful two of cups here, this beautiful, beautiful love, all right? They want it. You've got it, and they're reaching out. Very gently, though, very gently, this person's feeling like a fool, they want a fresh start. This person wants to say goodbye to something and move forward towards you, taking that leap of faith. They want a brand new beginning. We got a zero here. This is the first card in every deck. Um, so yeah, and they're feeling very foolish here. Um, very, in a lot of regret, okay? Now, you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with the water sign. I'll, I'll keep calling them out as I go. You could be dealing with a Virgo, and I don't, I always see Virgo in this card because it's the same outfit that the Hermit wears, and there's a V here. So anyway, this person is in a lot of regret for turning their back on your soulmate connection, okay? This Two of Cups here, that beautiful Two of Cups, guess what? That's the same Two of Cups we've got here. They want it back. They want that love back, Cancer that love that they can't find in anybody else. You know, um, this was a, a third party situation that got all dumped out, okay? Nothing but blood and sand from this third party situation and that's why this person wants to free themselves from wherever they are. Look, wanting a house move, wanting to move, maybe not having the funds in order to do it, this person I feel is, um, for some of you, they've had a huge loss of money. You could also be dealing with a Pisces. This person wants to come forward and apologize to you, okay? They want to apologize. They've been doing nothing but hanging on to your energy. All they're seeing you do is succeed. You are boldly going into a brand new cycle, feeling confident. Um, courageous and bold. You're making bold moves, Cancer. Huge, bold moves. Um, you are very financially stable here. Very financially abundant. 
Um, you've been dragged through the dirt, the mud, knee scrapes, everything, blood, sweat, and tears to get into this Empress status. This is the Empress in the Minor Arcana, right? Um, but you really put in a ton of effort for this, a ton. Um, healing, especially um, because of the backstabbing that you had to endure from this person in the past. You healed from that. Um, you did work on yourself, on uh, creative projects, your, your financial stability, your future stability, um, you're, indep you're independent here, highly connected to the divine, vibing really high, really high vibing here. Focused on your own stuff and your own improvements and your own growth, right? Um, paying really close attention to what the like messages from the divine so that you can be led by them. They've brought you here. See, here's the thing. Your person wants to come forward, Cancer, and give you this apology. They're in a lot of regret. They, they, they really regret turning their back on you and choosing someone else. I'll tell you that much. They want that love back again. The issue here is they really freaking hurt you bad. They hurt you really bad. Okay? The Queen of Swords, I always compare, and I'm probably the only reader out here that does this. I compare the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. <laughs> yes, I do. Because, see, the Queen of Cups has all of this beautiful love to share, right? All this gorgeous love. So you were very loving, very nurturing, very caring to this person. The deal with the Queen of Swords is um, she's in this energy because she was stabbed in the back then. Once you gave your love to this person, they took this sword here, this one. And they stuck it right in your back, clean through your heart. And then they left. They left while you were down, bleeding out, so that you could pull this sword out yourself and heal on your own. Okay? Which is exactly what you did. But you, ha you hang on to this sword as a souvenir, and you're receptive to hearing from this person, you know, but you're like, look, um, you need to come forward now to me with the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Or I'm going to cut you out of my world without batting an eyelash. And you'll have every right to. Because you worked for everything that you have now. You put in that effort. No one was around you to help besides the divine. So you know what? You're, you're protecting your heart. You're protecting that love that you have that's so une you know it's just no one is no other love is your equal okay um here's the thing your person i feel like they they don't know how to approach you okay they don't know how we got this i had to talk about this for a long time normally i would say that they're juggling too which i feel like they are I feel like they're in another commitment, all bound and stuck, wanting to be, be free from that, and they're loving you. Okay, this is love here, right? Um, but really what I'm feeling here, Cancer, is that this person, this is more of a question to me. How do I get to my Cancer? They want to come and apologize. They want to apologize to you, but um, they don't know how. Because they know they left you um, stabbed in the back, bleeding out, abandoned, and having to heal on your own after you gave them that love. And, you know, you did. You healed on your own. And you became more abundant than they could even imagine themselves. Hmm. Right? So now they're like, okay, um, how do I get to cancer then? How do I get to them, right? They're tr completely trapped in their mind about this. This is a question here. Should I or shouldn't I say this? Should I or shouldn't I say it like that? What could I possibly say to make up for all of the shitey things I did to this woman? 
probably the strongest woman they freaking know. Mm-hmm. That's something I didn't say in the first one. That's probably why they want me to say it again. Or do this again. Whatever. But yeah, um, the reason why your person is like standing here juggling ideas of how to get to you is because they didn't get, they didn't come to you when they should have. They followed someone else that led them out into the cold. I feel like this person's very financially burdened right now. Burdened. Very low on their finances. Um, not wanting to like face all of the crappy things that they've done in the past. They've, they've been, this is a person who's afraid of confrontation, but they're starting to realize that they have to. And, and they don't know how to come forward, okay? They, they have to confront all the crappy things that they did. They have to confront the situation. They have to confront it with this person that they followed. And they have to confront it with you. Uh, because they're not going to be able to get unstuck out of their mind trap if they don't. And so they're, they're kind of like, they see you. And look, they have to look up at you now they have to look up at you now because you've raised to a level that clearly they are not right they are not at that level i think they've gone down okay D down in pentacles um down in like just uh, this person could even be having some health issues they look like they've been crunched by a bus they're out in the cold following someone out in the cold not wanting to each one of these poor decisions just they just keep adding up this person has cornered themselves in with the decisions that they made themselves but you the one that they left behind to bleed out and heal on your own you're doing great you're doing fabulous and they don't know how to deal with that they don't know how to reach you at this level. And this is where I started laughing. <laughs> I'm like, well, they're coming in really slow, right? Um, and this person's very guarded, and I feel like they're very nervous. Why? Because they're coming towards a high priestess. <laughs> I'm laughing about it still. Because they know not only, not only did they screw you over in the past, right? Not only did you rise from that rubble into a freaking goddess, okay? <laughs> the Empress and the High Priestess energy together? Oh, man. If they are not sincere, you are going to know. If they are telling any kind of fib, you're going to know. You're going to know, bing, like that. Because your intuition is totally lit. And they're afraid. I mean, you know, honestly, this pack's a pretty big... <laughs> I was going to say, this pack's a pretty big punch, but you're, you're not paying attention. You haven't been paying attention to this person. You've been, you've been focusing on you and going off of your intuition and not speaking to anybody. They know they have to come to somebody who's not speaking to them. They know they have to come towards somebody that they, that they backstabbed. Took your love and backstabbed you. Bingo. Took your love and backstabbed you. And now they have to come forward not knowing what the crap to say. Yeah. They're nervous, Cancer. That's why this that's why this night is moving so slow. I will tell you this though. This night, this is the only night in the whole deck that they have the best offer. And when I say offer, I mean Whatever they tell you, Cancer, it's going to be sincere. It's sincere coming from this Knight of Pentacles. They're just scared. <laughs> They're very scared. And honestly, they should be. They should be. They should be scared. They have a lot to take responsibility for when it comes to hurting you. But this person can't let go of you. They just can't let go. 
So this apology that's coming, believe me, it's coming from a, a lot of regret inside that this person has. And what they're about to tell you is going to be sincere. They're going to be like, I'm so sorry. Man. How do we make this right again? How do we get back on track, you know? Yeah, yeah, the, um, then we got these. They're coming to tell you how they how they feel about you, Cancer. Look, uh, uh, once again, this is where the goosebumps started. This person just they can't stop thinking about you. Look at my goosebumps. I'm wearing a I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Um, yeah, they're coming forward. That this could be somebody that um, you've known for years and years and years. It could even be somebody who's a little bit older than you. Um, they offered you this cup of love before and you were so innocent about it um, like you would have never hurt this person you had not one bad intention for this person not one they know that this is them knowing that and they turned their back on that love they turned their back on you they offered you this cup and before you even had a good clean grasp on it they took it away and turned their back on your love okay the two of cups are in your reading kind of all over here's those two of cups there there they are there they are do you still feel about me the way you did before this person doesn't know they don't know they don't know because they really screwed you over that bad you know, they're like, uh, here's that cup of love that they extended and pulled away. Okay, here's that, that's yours that they turned their back on. And you're looking innocently at this person like, now they want that love back. Do you still care for me? Do you still have feelings for me? This person doesn't freaking know. They don't know, Cancer, so they don't know how to approach you. They're just going to come as gently as they can. Okay, as cautiously, <laughs> as cautiously as they can. But this person, believe me when I say they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop trying to figure out how to approach you. They're coming. And what they have to say is going to be sincere. What this one, this one, what they have to say is going to be sincere. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo, um, a Pisces, uh, any fire sign, earth sign, water. Yeah, Cancer, the more I think about this, the more I'm glad that it was a retake. I mean, the first one was kind of funny and everything, but, you know, this person, I get to have a chance to tell you, this person, I can just feel that they want you and they want to approach you. But after all that they've done, and after all of your pain that they caused, this person just doesn't know if you feel the same way or not. I'm guessing that you probably don't feel the same way for some of you. Um, for at least, you know, for at least some of you. You know, you're, you're going after what you want. That's going to make you happy. I got to check my camera again because it keeps freaking beeping. No. Um, you're going after what you want. You're going to go after your own happiness here. And you're cool about it. You're sitting here all relaxed and stuff. You know, you've got your little kitty here by your side. Um, but yeah, you're really focused on you. You're focused on working for your future stability and your, and whatever the divine is bringing you and wherever you're going in this new cycle. You're focused on you, man, and growing. You're just focused on your growth. You're not really focused on this person right now, and that's how I know it's kind of already changed. Your feelings have already changed. You know, because in the past you may have been focused on this person, especially during the backstabbing, and getting screwed over but not now not now truth be told 
this person and how they hurt you ended up being one of the best things for you, to be honest, because it put you on a journey of self-love and self-growth and it got you closer to the divine. You know, and I feel like for 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 many of us, we're we're able to just let go and say we've had enough. But I mean, this person, they want to come forward. They just don't know how you feel about them. That's the feeling that I get. They don't know. They don't know how you're going to react. They don't know if you feel the same way because you were so freaking sweet to this person before. You were. You were. You were so innocent. You were so good to this person. You had nothing but good intentions for this person. And you really believed in, in what they were giving you here. You really did. And that's why you were hurt so freaking bad. And then when they, when they didn't come forward, when they left you abandoned there to heal on your own, you did, but, you know, it's been a really hard journey. Now I think you've grown accustomed to being on your own. You know, you're alone in every picture here. And an empress is independent. The, the empress is just fine on her own. So is this Queen of Wands. You know, and I, this person sees you as their star. You, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo. But yeah, they see you as their star, their wish fulfillment. You could um, be a healer, like an intuitive healer or um, a teacher, spiritual teacher. You're, you're very spiritual. You know, you could be doing something in the public eye um, where you're inspiring other people and healing other people okay um but yeah i feel like this person sees you as a star so you could very well be in the public eye a lot a, a lot of people seeing you okay um but your wish fulfillment for this person equally though i feel like cancer you are manifesting new wishes here in this new cycle this wheel of fortune um is turning in your favor here while your person is very slowly, very, um, very slowly and nervously moving forward towards you, you're moving forward into a level up where your person can't reach you anymore. You know, and I feel like they're very disappointed because your person is thinking the whole time that you were the one they should have held on to. That's the, honestly, and here comes the, here they come again, the goosebumps. You were the one that this person should have held on to. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I've got the goosebumps bad. Yeah, they're feeling defeated, let down, disillusioned, but they did it to themselves here for not, by not coming forward. And I feel like, you know, they, this person could very well be destitute. I feel like they took the brunt of the responsibilities here and it ran them into the ground. Um, they're feeling like their hands are tied, but they want to be free. But yeah, here you go. Floating away that dream. The one they should have held on to. The one they should have held on to. Wow. Now now they don't know. Oops. Well, now they don't know how you feel about them anymore. You're just you're you've reached a level where you're kind of unreachable for this person, but they're still going to try. They're still going to try because they just quite simply can't shake this connection. This could be a um twin flame soulmate connection or a deep level, very deep level soulmate connection. Um, I feel like there's a lot of divine intervention here trying to bring you guys together like a bunch of baby ducks. And um, they, their focus is on you. Your focus is on being led by the divine. Your focus is on the messages you're getting from the divine. And, and your knowledge is growing. Your strength is growing. Your confidence is growing. Where are you? Your confidence is growing. Um, and your abundance is growing. 
It's all right here. But your person, your person stuff is like burning to a ground. Burning to the ground. It's just burning to a crisp. It's, it's toast. And I feel like this person hasn't been sleeping because they're just staring at you. But their eyes are all freaking sunken and dark. Yeah, this person, they can only pay attention to you and you're on a spiritual journey here. You're being built up by the divine. You're, you're paying attention to you and the divine. And your person is just watching this freaking float away. But I'm telling you, they're coming forward, Cancer. They're coming forward. And uh, they don't know what it is that they're going to say. But they're trying a couple of different things here. With an apology. Um, telling you how they feel about you. And really sincerely trying to get this back. Um, so you guys can be on the same page. Okay. It's just, it's just that they're, they're scared. They're very scared. Mm-hmm. But they have every reason to be. And meanwhile, you're just moving forward. Looking beautiful, hot, scrumptious. You're moving forward. The wheel of fortune is turning for you. Things are going to start rolling here. And I feel like communication is coming in. Yeah, anyway, Cancers, that's what I got. This is great energy. I hope it does resonate with you guys. I do. I hope it does. Because um, it's, it's really one of, those, one of those really good readings. It's a really good reading. And um, Cancers, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. I am going to take this into the extended, guys. Um, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into how this person feels, um, what maybe what you can expect out of this communication. If you guys are interested, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box that'll take you right to my Patreon. Just give me a little bit, right? And um, yeah, that's about it. Cancers, I love you guys. Listen, have a fabulous day. Take care of you. And peace out.